everybody and welcome to today's video. Um, this time I'm really going to ramp up the triviometer a couple of notches and talk about one of my favourite topics, Northern Ireland's registration numbers. Why we use them, where they come from and all the different ways they've appeared over the years. Here's a typical modern NI registration. Here's a rather old one and here's an even older one. But they all have something in common. We're pretty proud of our unique registration system, but 120 years ago it was in use all over the UK, including the whole of Ireland. And the reason we're still using it is because everywhere else has since moved on to other, arguably more logical systems. In 1903, private vehicle ownership in the UK was becoming common enough that the authorities decided that a system of registration was needed. With no central authority, counties and certain cities issued their own, but every number issued obviously had to be unique. So the way around this was to give each licensing authority its own unique code, which would appear at the start of the registration number. That would then give everyone 9,999 registrations to issue as the upper limit was four digits. Over here in Ireland, it was decided that any codes containing an I would go to the 38 licensing authorities here. That's all 32 counties plus the cities of Belfast, Cork, Dublin, Limerick, Londonderry as it was, and Waterford. And here's how, who, got, what. They simply wrote out all the possible two-letter combinations in a big list, starting with IA and running alphabetically to IZ, then swapping them around to get AI to ZI. Now, they didn't use them all. They had to skip any containing G, S or V, as those letters were already earmarked for Scotland. And II wasn't used either, maybe because it looked like the number 11. But when they were removed, that gave 42 codes. So what they did was wrote out the 32 counties in alphabetical order, followed by the six cities, also alphabetically. Then they set them out beside the codes that correspond to their position in the list. So, in other words, Antrim is the first county in Ireland alphabetically, got the first available code on the list, which is IA. Armagh as the second got IB. County Carlow as the third got IC, and so on, until they got to the last authority, Waterford City, which got WI. And if we pull out the codes for the six counties that would become Northern Ireland, the codes were IA for Antrim, IB for Armagh, IJ for Down, IL for Fermanagh, IW for Londonderry and JI for Tyrone. And the two cities were OI for Belfast and UI for Londonderry. So as I said, each authority had thousands of registrations to issue, which in those days would take quite a while to get through but reached the end they did. Belfast and Dublin, as the two major population centres in the country, ended up going through their original number allocation first and needed more. Belfast, for example, used up all the numbers starting OI in January 1921 and was given the first available code of the three left over, XI. And before long, Dublin soon used YI and ZI, and that was all those original I codes used up. So now what? This is where a second series of two-letter codes was needed for Ireland. This time they used any possible codes with a Z in them, so that's ZA to ZY and AZ to YZ. But this time the way they were allocated was different. By this time Ireland had been partitioned and any codes that started with a Z went south of the border and any that had the Z as the second letter went to Northern Ireland. Secondly, these were now allocated on a first come first serve basis. And so here's how all the full list of those 32 codes, both the original I codes and the later Z codes, ended up being allocated. Please feel free to pause here for a good peruse if you need. And you'll notice Derry City doesn't reappear here because it's the only authority that's only ever used one code, as we'll get to later. Because these codes were issued first come, first serve, it means that there isn't much logic to them for each authority. So, for example, just because Belfast has EZ, FZ and GZ doesn't mean that it gets HZ too. And here's why. This is because in 1947, when Belfast reached the end of its seventh series, GZ, it wasn't able to go to HZ because in the meantime, that had gone to County Tyrone. Likewise, IZ, which had gone to County Mayo in 1903 as one of the original I codes, JZ, which went to County Down, KZ, which had been given to Antrim, and LZ, which had gone to Armagh. So the next code was MZ, and that was Belfast's next one. Remember how I said about first come and first serve. And when all those codes had been handed out, that was each county and city stuck with them. 
If any authority ran out of numbers, they had to reuse their old codes, but in a slightly different way. So what could they do? Let's use Antrim as an example. They could go back to their first code again, but swap the letters and numbers around and go through all the codes available that way. That would buy them some time, so that is what they did. When they got to RZ9999, they went back up to the top of the list to IA, but started the new series as 1IA instead. And that's why in old photos, you'll see some cars with the two letters before the numbers and some with them after. But before long, those ran out as well. So they decided to once again return to the start of their codes in the first format of letters and then numbers, but this time add a serial letter before the county code. And with the exception of Q and Z, which weren't used, this meant that every code would last 24 times longer in theory. So for example, when they reached the end of one number series, they just went to the next serial letter. And when all those codes were exhausted, they went back to the next code they had used previously and put a letter before that. So in Antrim's case, that meant ADZ started in 1985, AKZ in 1998, and what should have been ARZ in 2010, but keep watching to hear why it wasn't. And that is what gives us the familiar format we have today. Now I actually have brought a prop with me, which I found lying at the side of the main road yesterday. A car very kindly shed it for me. So like the opportunist oddball I am, I picked it up, gave it a bit of a scrub and here it is. So this is a typical Northern Irish plate with three letters and four numbers. And if we cover this one up, FZ, that's the county code. So we know that this is a Belfast plate. And although this one, like most on the road, has four numbers, they can have three, two, and even one. But we don't tend to see as many of those on the road. Why is that? Of the 9,999 numbers available in every series, 1,017 are kept aside by the DVLA to be sold. The first 999, because they're three number plates, anything that's a multiple of 1,000, and anything that's four of a kind. And that's why the numbers available off the peg for your new car start at 1001 and end at 9998. And one authority is on the cusp of needing to do a swap again. Derry City will very soon, if it hasn't already, become the first issuer of an NI plate with the letters after the numbers with 1001 AUI to be the first available. And the reason it's the first is because although Derry City registered so few vehicles that it's taken nearly 50 years to get through its AUI to YUI numbers, it doesn't have another code to use after that. It only has UI, so this is why it'll be the first to swap the letters and numbers round. The code CI originally went to Queen's County, which we now call County Leash, and not in fact Craggy Island. Although it had long since become a republic, until 1987 an old Irish issued plate could still be transferred to a UK car, such as in the case of the plate VIP1, which was originally issued in County Kilkenny. The code IG was left out of the original I series because it was earmarked for Scotland, but never went there. But in 2004 it was given to Fermanagh. This meant for the first time since 1973 an NI authority issued a new series of two letter plates. When Antrim got to its RZ series in 2010 they started with BRZ because believe it or not ARZ was withheld for being offensive. This didn't stop the DVLA using another bottom themed combination when ASZ was introduced by County Town a few years later. At some point in the next 30 years, TZ will be used for Belfast again, but many of the numbers that start LTZ have already been given to London buses, suitably enough since the new route master was built here in Northern Ireland. So by the time Belfast gets to that series again, it will skip out LTZ. If you still don't understand all this, because it really doesn't make much sense, I've put a link to the Wikipedia page in the description of the video. A very warm thanks indeed to David and Johnny at Birch Autos in Newton Norge for letting me film their lovely car collection, their Grandpa's Old Austin, the Blue Bus, and my particular favourite, the wee red Fiat 500. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I also hope you understood it. 
You may have noticed that I changed my channel name recently to reflect the content a wee bit more accurately. So as ever, the request is the same. If you liked it, please leave me a comment, like the video, or subscribe to the channel. Next time, I'll be back to something in a similar vein that I've covered quite recently. So keep an eye out for that one. And thanks for watching.